the aim of this experimental setup is to find out that which surface of a leaf performs more transpiration is it the upper epidermal region or the lower epidermis in case of dicot plants we are already aware that the dicots they have the lower surface of epidermis as the area which is not completely exposed to the sunlight that's why they have more this uh, lower epidermis has presence of more number of stomata and as because the sunlight does not directly falls over the lower epidermis that's why the rate of transpiration can be kept in control so this is the reason why lower epidermis has presence of more number of stomata now in order to find out that is it true that the lower epidermis has more number of stomata we can perform an experiment with the help of cobalt chloride paper some clips and a slide not one slide two or three slides we need we need a potted plant and a bright sunny day we have to take two leaves in or we can just take one leaf and use two slides first of all we will take the slide and cover it with the help of a cobalt fluoride paper attach now when we are covering it with the cobalt fluoride paper generally the cobalt fluoride paper looks like this which is blue colored but when it comes in contact with water droplets the color changes to pink so our intention is as such that we don't want the slide why are we attaching the slide along with the cobalt chloride paper the reason for that is we do not want the outside air which is which may be laden with some amount of water droplets within it or some amount of humidity to get attached to that uh, surface of the leaf and as because our intention is as such we do not allow any amount of water droplets to be attached from outside on both the surfaces of the leaf and that's why we are using the clips in order to completely tightly fit the slides and we have just think that one leaf is in between two slides let me draw a leaf suppose this is a leaf and i will superimpose another suppose this is a superimposition which i have tried to make of another slide which also has cobalt chloride paper but the leaf is in between sandwiched between the slides and we can very easily use the clips over here if you use the clips it will both the clips will be attached with the slides and the leaf will be uh, pressed between both the slides and in this way the experimental setup can be maintained after a period of 10 to 15 minutes we can see the change from outside that is the upper epidermal area will show no change whereas the lower epidermis it starts changing to pink within the same time period suppose 10 to 15 minutes the lower epidermis has already turned to pink whereas the upper epidermis is still blue in color this shows that the lower epidermis may have presence of more stomatal pores so more number of water droplets are moving out and as a result the cobalt chloride paper has started changing to pink color and the observation which we have drawn is the maximum transpiration occurs on the lower epidermal region because due to the presence of more stomatal aperture in the lower epidermal area as compared to the upper epidermis this is the change which we have seen we can see that the upper epidermal area has no change whereas the lower epidermis has some change over it and this can be very well understood now within few minutes we observe the cobalt fluoride paper kept on the lower or ventral surface of the leaf turning into deep pink color but the strip of cobalt fluoride paper kept at the upper surface remains colorless not colorless it remains pale pink color or it remains unchanged for a long period of time but and the reason for this is that there is presence of more stomata 
on the ventral or the lower surface of the leaf as compared to the upper surface in case of dicot plants whereas the upper epidermis it has thick cuticle and not only the thick uh, the, there is presence of thicker cuticle there is also presence of less number of stomatal apertures so less amount of loss of water is taking place through the upper epidermal area now we are only talking about the dicot leaf why not about the monocot leaf this is also is to be kept in mind in case of dicot leaves the placement of the leaf is almost 90 degree to the sunlight so that sunlight falls on the upper epidermis whereas the lower epidermis is protected so that less loss of water can take place and whereas in case of dicot uh, in case of monocot leaf like uh, grasses you will see that the leaves are placed in such a way that sunlight falls on both the surfaces of the leaf equally even in case of uh, maize you will see that similar condition is there the uh, sunlight falls on both the surfaces equally and that's why there is very less amount of transpiration uh, or there is equal distribution of stomata on both the surfaces of the leaf in case of monocot plant